You know, if you're an individual organization and you want to take a stand, even if it's not popular, fine. Just don't try to straddle. Go all in or don't go in at all. Novak Djokovic found out about that this week, and it's going to cost him his reputation. Here's what I mean. It's one thing for the number one tennis player in the world to come out and say he's against vaccines. And there's some rationale to it, though I don't agree with it. You need to respect that. What you don't respect is a person who knowingly puts himself in a position where he could infect others after being diagnosed with COVID, testing positive for the virus, and then subsequently having clerical errors, as his handlers put it, on an application to be able to play in Australia. That's the big rub here. It's not the fact that he's necessarily somebody who doesn't agree that vaccines should be mandated. But he was trying to evade being limited by not following the mandates. And in doing so, in his continued fighting of Australia's rules, he has significantly tarnished his reputation. And the funny thing is, he's been trying to preserve his number one ranking all the time by being able to play. It almost doesn't matter now if he retains his number one, because now he's got an asterisk to his name. Organizations and individuals take note. You want to take a stand on something, fine. You have some rational thought behind it, even better. But don't try to willy-nilly back and forth and sort of get the best of both worlds. Because what you'll do is you will crush your reputation in the process and likely cost you some good standing for quite some time. Yeah.